Good morning, guys, and happy Sunday. It's been a while, hasn't it? Storm's just lit. Hi, Storm. Happy New Year. So I am back with a brand new vlog. I know it's been a minute. I've been super active vlogging over on TikTok every day. So if you're not following me over there, you're probably not caught up. But let me let you in on a little secret. I lost a little clip of this vlog that was supposed to be happening right now. So technically, I'm about to head to New York tomorrow. This is Daniel from the future. I got booked a really exciting opportunity to work with the new Mean Girls movie and Paramount Pictures as well as Facetune. So I'm heading to New York, I'm really excited. But right now I'm cleaning out my hoard of a laundry room slash closet. So let's go do that. And then we're heading to New York City. No, we've made progress. <laughs> Look did at this. We did. Look, it's the shape. There's not like, and it, this, this takes up space. Like this is my camping stuff. That's. A we, good Yeti. <laughs> no, we need to get rid of this. No, we, we like love the Yeti. the Yeti. We love the Yeti. Oh, jump scare. I um shave my facial hair manically. Yeah, and tools and paint, antique stuff, candles. There's a method to the badness. Hi, Storm. Yeah, there's a method to the badness, and this stuff, it's a mess. I'm organized. Look at the hoard. Fancy. The hoard. Fancy. You need a bigger laundry room. I do love God. this laundry machine. <laughs> stuff up here. Nest. Hanukkah candles! I've been looking for these! Get out! Get out of my way! Good morning, guys. Oh, great. My battery's dying. I'm on my other camera because my other battery died, but I'm heading to Beverly Hills Dental Arts to go get my teeth whitened. I do this, like I said, like once a year, and I'm gonna be on the carpet, so I really want to have, like, blazing white teeth, you know? Just my normal color because I had a lot of coffee in Italy, and that trend carried over back into America. And I've been drinking cappuccinos like nonstop. So I'll see you at Dr. Rajpal's. Also, I regret shaving my face. I do. I look prepubescent, but also my teeth are not yellow. They're just, I have some coffee stains. It's normal. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Let's, let me show you the progress. Hunter, get down, get out of the hoard. The hoard is still very much present, but I bought a bunch of these plastic containers to organize everything. But, let me show you here. Gorgeous and clear. Wow. So all of this is gonna get painted. It's gonna get painted the same shade of green. It's in the living room. And then I'm gonna have rods placed here and here, two of them, so we can have hanging clothes. And then storage behind there, like either sweaters or whatever. I'm gonna do another rod at the top and then another rod here for more hanging storage. This house was built, I believe in the 1930s, so they just didn't build it with a lot of storage, which is very frustrating because I have a lot of clothes. I don't have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of jackets and shoes and pants and shirts. So yeah, I guess I do have a lot of clothes. Look how stunning. Yeah. Laura made the most gorgeous dinner. You sure did. I don't think you did. Wait, what are these called? That's my camera, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> She's got her car. <laughs> Study. You guys would scream, I can't eat anything. I have to literally throw it down my hatch because my teeth, look how white they are. <gasps> they are I mean, they're so, they're very white. What are you doing? Look at what are you me. doing? <gasps> That's a big bite, honey. Unhinge the jaw. This is all I can eat because it's white and it won't stain my teeth. Extra icing on the side. Lovely. How is it? Stunning. <laughs> They're talking about Real Housewives of Salt Lake. Anyways, I look great. Hair done. Teeth. Bleach. Blush on. Bl it's just a little, it's just a little bit. A little pinch. A little rosacea. We're at Laura's. She made a gorgeous dinner. And we're going to watch Drag Race. It's the season premiere. When I tell you I barely made it onto my flight tonight, insane. But I'm here. I'll see you in New York. Good morning, guys. I am in New York. Okay, so I know I kind of sprung. No, I didn't really spring it on you. You guys know I was coming here. Um, I almost missed my flight last night. Sure did. I left in time. So my flight was at 10.15, and I left my house at 8. It took me an hour to get into the airport. An hour and a half. I would say almost like an hour and 20 minutes. And because I was first class, and I have pre-check, and I have clear. I didn't think I would have a problem, but I honestly, the traffic at LAX was so insane. 
Anyways, the ladies were so kind, they whisked me through, I got through security, and we're here in my messy room in New York. And I'm so excited because I have the premiere tomorrow. Today I'm just meeting up with a few friends and then Tuesday and Wednesday I have a few meetings in town, two with brands that I've worked with in the past and one with a publisher. So I'm very excited about that. This is the fit. I have this vintage green jacket on, a little Abercrombie sweater. I don't know where these jeans are from and the boots are just these like combat boots from banana republic very green oh and my headphones are green too we match hey guys so it is premiere day here in new york city but look at my view right now in new york how stunning okay so i'm getting ready right now let me show you my outfit i bet you're thinking daniel what designer are you wearing are you wearing something fabulous are you wearing something designer uh are you wearing a suit what are you wearing Honey, in this house, we pay homage. Also, I did a get ready with me over on TikTok. So if you're not following me there, I'll link down below. It's just Mr. Prado on TikTok. I go in depth. I talk about the entire experience. Also like what products I'm using for skincare and everything. It's a lot of fun. I post every single day over on TikTok. So go check that out. But let me show you what we're thinking for the outfit. So it's Katie Heron when she needed her pink polo. We have an option here for a light pink polo or the more magenta, which is very Mean Girls to me. And then we have the dark jeans here. I have my camera literally from middle school. And then I have a little wooden bracelet as a prop. And for shoes, I'm going with these trusty little Sambas because these were around back then when the original movie came out. And I feel like they're adorable with this outfit. Important for me not to try too hard. Um, I've worked so many red carpets in the past when I was an intern and I'm just kind of like going in and out, take a few pictures, and that's it. I'm not there to be, like, super seen. I'm there, just there to have a good time. I'm here, there to see the movie. I actually saw the movie last month. So good. It's based on the musical, so if you guys are a big fan of the musical, definitely go see that. I also left a review on that on TikTok as well, but I really liked it, and I'm a big fan of musicals, and I'm a big fan of Mean Girls, and there's a lot of cameos from the original movie in the new movie, and it's just really good. I really like it. They're not trying to compete with the original movie, so... 10 out of 10, I would recommend you guys see it. I'm curious your guys' thoughts. And if you've seen it by now, let me know in the comments what you thought. I can't talk to you right now. I'm going to the Mean Girls movie premiere. Bye, Jason. And it was time to hit the pink carpet. This was so much fun. Thought for a couple of pictures, giving my best Katie Heron, and then went to see the movie with the entire cast, which is out January 12th in theaters. At the after party, I stopped by the Facetune photo booth and played around with the AI and digital makeup filters. I wish I looked this cool in high school, but you can try them for free in the Facetune app. All right, guys, the time has come. I am back in LA and I didn't even vlog at all in New York. I was busy. I was very booked and busy. But as you can see, I did go to the premiere and it was fabulous. Thank you so much, Facetune, for having me and a great time. And definitely go check out the really cute, there are these features on Facetune, which are like AI makeup and presets. It's like digital makeup and they're very like hyper realistic. They're really cute. So I will link that down below if you guys want to check them out. I just got my nails done. I'm feeling a little under the weather. I told a bunch of friends that I have COVID because I think I do, but I don't actually. Well, I need to take a COVID test later today, but I'm just not feeling well. So I'm gonna stay in this weekend. I got my nails done. Never get green on your nails, it looks like a fungus, but I did get matte on the top coat. They're kind of cute. However, I broke this nail and we had to go shorter, but they look good. What do you guys think? Do you like them? They match the walls. I'm taking down Christmas at the house right now, so I thought you guys could just join along as I do that. Oh, it's time to take down this beautiful mantle. If you guys saw on TikTok, I vlog every single day there. I posted this whole thing on TikTok and it turned out so beautiful, but it's all dried and crispy now and it's a fire hazard. So we're gonna take it down. I'm watching Little Fockers, which is Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, and the third installment, which is really good. But it turned out so stunning. It held up beautifully. I did all these dried oranges that I dried in the oven with fresh cranberries and it held up it like kept its shape it doesn't look like rotten or anything it just looks dry but I think it still looks beautiful okay it's the next day I repainted this I filled in the little holes yes I drilled into the wood because this is my wood and not yours. I just filled it with some wood putty and then I painted it over, it's not a big deal. But I actually painted it this shade of green last night and it looked so hideous against the brick. So I went back to the black, which looks very nice and structured. So here's an update on the laundry room. Everything's cleared out. I do need to fill the walls with some spackle, but here's all my painting supplies I'm using. I'm using a big roller, a small roller, a brush, tape, my pan, and my paint. I'm gonna light 
some of my favorite little nest candles. And then also these are the new sheets that I got for my bedroom. I'm gonna pop these in to wash. I don't think the color's really showing up properly in this light. Maybe this is better. Yeah, that's better. It's like a light sage green with dark green, some moss green, forest green, and I really love that it's plaid. This is from, I forget the brand. I bought them online. I really wanted a linen because I sleep really hot and my flannel sheets are just like way too hot right now. This is the brand Piglet in Bed. Super cute, they have really cute stuff. This isn't sponsored, but I'll link these ones down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Morning guys, oh my gosh, it's the next morning. <laughs> I'm in bed. You guys never see me in bed, but what am I doing? Honey, I'm listening to my new Audible title of the month. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. So. It's the new year. We always say new year, new me. Not so much. I mean, I am working on a few things, but I don't really make lists. However, one of the things that I wanted to do this year was to stop doom scrolling the first thing when I wake up. I've been using Audible for years. If you guys don't know, they have so many titles, whether you're looking for a celebrity memoir, health and wellness, everything from thrillers to YA to romance, they have got you covered. Members also get full access to a huge array of audiobooks Audible Originals and Podcasts, and you can download all you want. And right now, Audible is offering you guys a free trial just by clicking the link in my description and visiting Audible right here. This month's title is The Mountain Is You by Brianna West. Starting off my morning listening to an audiobook rather than doom scrolling has been so great for my mental health. Something that I'm really working on this year is self-sabotage, and I feel like I'm sure anybody out there can relate to this. Self-sabotage, comparing yourself to others, is something that is just awful, and this has been so wonderful at helping me realize a lot of the things that get me to that place of self-sabotage and what I can do to change it. And Audible makes it so easy to listen on the go. I have a very busy lifestyle and I'm sure you guys do as well. So it's just really great to listen to an audiobook or a podcast or an Audible original, whether you're walking your dog, whether you're at the gym, in the car, on a bus, wherever. Wherever you are, Audible makes it easier. So if you guys are interested in having a free Audible trial, you can click the link in my description and check out Audible right here. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the video. It's a little later. I'm actually sending out some Depop clothes. If you guys haven't shot my Depop, I will link it down below, but it's just Mr. Prater on Depop. Aren't these really beautiful? Like This is a Levi's coat I've only worn once. This is like a vintage tasseled cowboy jacket. I wasn't feeling well, so they're a little late to ship out, but I always include a little note. This one's Valentine's Day theme. There's some chocolates in here too, which is cute. And then I have all of this PR. So I get a lot of PR from different brands, skincare, makeup, which I don't really use a lot of. Um, I get a lot of candles. I get a lot of blushes, a lot of just a lot of skincare. So I'm gonna do a Valentine's Day giveaway. I'm gonna do like seven boxes of these and these are like chock full, like amazing brands. I think each of these boxes are like four or $500 worth of product. Roche Posay, we have a Fuji film camera, vacation fragrance and candle, some new Ilia products, salt air, all that I love, but I just don't need. I don't need any of this. I don't need a lot, but I really want to do a giveaway. So, we've got some Laneige, we've got some Naturium, some Nest Fragrance, I love these oils. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so just make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok and here, because I think I'm gonna do a couple boxes per each site. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hi guys, so I'm heading to Venice to pick up a bone broth cleanse. I'll explain more about that later. And then I'm going to see my Erewhon boyfriend. Not really my boyfriend. He's uh, just a boy that I met at Erewhon. And he's super sweet. His name's Tyler. He's my barista. And he makes me my drinks. If you're not over on TikTok, I have a new series that's been like blowing up. It's been crazy. It's called Number One Hater. It's kind of where I go to debunk all of the influencer trends in the community in Los Angeles, especially at Erewhon, trendy restaurants, trendy coffee places to see if they're actually any good because these girls are out here lying and I'm gullible. So I'm going to go and tell you guys the real tea. It's been doing really well. Like it's been blowing up at like each episode has like millions of views, which is crazy. December was 
was just really busy and I was doing Vlogmas over on TikTok. So definitely go catch up with me on TikTok. I have so much content over there. I post every single day, usually, or every other day, but it's been a lot of fun. However, I feel like I need to start this year off with a little cleanse. So I'm heading over to Owl to go pick up the cleanse. And I went on a date on Sunday, and I'll tell you guys all about it once we get there. But I'll see you guys in a second. I got my cleanse. These are all the little bottles. So we have bone broth, golden ginger milkshake, magic matcha milkshake, bold beet milkshake. These are probably all things that I can make myself, but I'm just doing a four day cleanse to kind of reduce inflammation. I'm wearing a little makeup right now, but I've been having a psoriasis flare up and I think it's because I'm back from New York. I was in New York, it was cold and it's just like a change. It's been rainy and cloudy here. I haven't been in the sun a lot. So I just want to kickstart my new year and go into February just feeling my best self. So we're doing that. But I went on a date the other night, not even night, it was a day date. Again, the story time is over on my TikTok. So again, I'm going to plug my TikTok, go follow me over there. You get a different side of me because it's so like quick, but I have videos on there that are like three minutes, six minutes, 10 minutes. It's just like different. It's just easier for me to just like post on there immediately versus like film like a whole week's worth of content. But I love the connection that I have with you guys and the long form and the longer vlogs. And I know you guys love the longer vlogs. So I'm always going to continue YouTube. I'm going to amp up production in February to be like twice a week. So like two vlogs a week and then maybe like a sit down video. So I met this guy in a really, really cute way. So I was on set for a shoot and I see this guy wearing this coat and I'm like, that is a very particular coat. It's a coat that I actually bought in Italy. It's beautiful. It's like a blue plaid and it's from this store called Koss. And I love Koss. So I got the coat in Italy, but I was at the train station when I was in Florence and I put the bag down on a seat and I forgot it because my ADHD was thriving because I was with a boy at the time and I lost the coat and I couldn't get it again. It was sold out in stores and then it went like viral, like super viral on TikTok, I think in December and then it sold out all the stock everywhere over in Europe. I don't think it went viral in America, but I don't even think it was sold in America. It was really cute. I'm like to see this guy, to connect with him. I'm like, it's just those little moments that I love so much that are just like, it's a rarity for them to happen. And it's like a little movie moment. It was a meet cute. We talked, we connected. It was cute. Gave him my number. And then the night that we met, he called me and we talked for like three hours on the phone, just talking about life, relationships, dating, family trauma, uh, you know, his issues with his father, my issues with my father, his issues with his mother, my issues with my mother. And you know, just like everything. It was, it was really great night. That's how I, that's how I learned to like somebody. I, I love to connect. You know, I'm not somebody who just like goes out and has goes on random apps and has sex with random people, although that's fine. Do what you want to do. But for me, I need more of a connection. And that's just how I am attracted to people. It's through the depth. So he's like, well, I can't wait to see you until Sunday night because we had a date plan for Sunday night. Do you want to get coffee tomorrow morning? And I'm like, uh, sure. It's already three, almost four in the morning right now. Okay. I'm like, I'll let you know when I wake up. So I woke up and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I feel great. Let's go for it. I don't go on coffee dates because coffee dates are just like not my thing. I feel like they're not very romantic in nature. And I feel like I had already connected really well with this guy. So I'm like, let's just go on a regular date. But anyways, I'm like, you know what? No, I really want to see you. I go to the coffee place. It's over in Silver Lake, cutesy area of town with lots of boutiques and shops that you can walk around to. It was slightly raining. So it was cute. I went there, you know, I looked great. I, the second I saw him, goosebumps. It was really nice. We had a great conversation for like an hour almost. And then he asked if I wanted to get up and walk around. So we walk around, he's being cute. We're holding hands. Oh my God. I didn't tell you guys. You know what he did when I first saw him? He went in to give me a kiss. I gave him a hug and then he went in to kiss me on the lips. And I'm like, whoa, I was very sidetracked. I feel like that was a lot for me at, you know, like 1 p.m. on a Sunday. So I kind of sidelined him and kissed him on the, like a peck on the cheek, which is what I normally do to even my friends. Like, hi, hug, handshake, whatever. That's more of a European thing. But on the lips is like a little aggro and, and that's fine. I'm like, I'm like, okay, maybe he's just that attracted. Okay, whatever. And then I turned away and then he went in and kissed me on the lips. So I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Like I kissed him. I think we made out a little bit. It was cute. I mean, I was down for it. I'm a very sensual person. I, I you know, I, if I feel a connection with you and it, it feels right, I go for it. But I normally have a three date rule when it comes to like anything other than that. Then in the stores, he was kind of like kiss my neck and he was like, we were canoodling and then he was getting a little gropey, a little mildly uncomfortable, but nothing I couldn't handle. And I was kind of like not swatting away, but just like, I don't know, we were in public and it was the middle of the day. Had this been at night, I probably think it would have been a little more 
you know, a little more lax with me. But then it starts heavily raining. We pull under a portico and we start kissing a little bit and it was cute. And he gets like super handsy, like unbuttoning my pants, like hands down my pants. And I'm like, ah, uh, no, no, this is way too much. But I said it in like a, a cuter way. And then he said, do you want to come back to my place and make out on my couch? And I'm like, well, we can walk around a little more. I'm like, no, no, this is wrong. Again, if it were at night and it were a different setting, maybe, but it just like, I wasn't feeling that right there. And I was very attracted to him. I think he's very intellectual, very sweet, very smart. He's a little older than I am, a couple years older. And of course, very handsome, very much my type, tall, dark, and handsome, very sweet. And yeah, I just wanted, you know, I built up a little bit of a, you know, I wanted more of a, not the chase or anything. I just wanted to, you know, just spend a little more time with him. Anyways, he was going to a birthday party and I had to get home because I was doing errands and stuff. Anyways, we parted ways. I went home. I let him do his thing because I knew he was like out with his friends that night. And I didn't hear back from him until the next morning to where essentially he sent me like two paragraphs saying, you know, I'm amazing and hot and there's something sexy between us and there's, you know, but I think on a romantic level, we're not on the same page. I'm like, babe, at this point, we're on, we're in different books, different, total different genres. He just like made it seem like during our phone conversation, he was there for something else, like something more than just a hookup. And then on the date, it seemed like he was very sexual. And then in the text, he said, you know, I have a very high sex drive and I don't think we're like compatible. And I'm like, you don't even know me like that. I have a very high sex drive. I'm very sexual, very sensual with the per with the person I'm seeing, but I'm not going to like throw it all out there on the first like day date. It wasn't even like a standard night date. So I kind of just like said, you know, that's totally fine. I wish you had been a little more honest when we first communicated because you made it seem like you wanted something and now you're making it seem like you want something else. And then your language and your body language during the day was highly sexual. So I wish you just had led with that because then I would have been more inclined to like want to go on a second date. But essentially I took the higher road and I didn't, I wasn't attacking. There's nothing to attack. It is what it is. He was using weird terminology, made me feel weird, made me feel like I wasn't good enough, made me feel like I wasn't sexual enough when I know that there's nothing wrong with me. And it just is what it is. I think he kind of like bait and switched. He told me what I want to hear. And that's the first time I've ever experienced that. I've never been turned down because I go on so few dates. And it just is what it, it is, what it is. So I'm not dwelling on it. I said, you know, have a great weekend. I had a great time. Thanks for coffee and see you later. I'm not looking for friends. I'm not looking for more friends and I'm not looking for friends that I am attracted to. That's like a line that I don't cross. I think it's like confusing unless from the second you meet them, you're like, okay, friends, but friends with benefits. I'd be open to it if just the communication was there and the communication was not there. And I don't think he knows what he wants. And he had never really been in a very strong, healthy relationship. And I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, got two t-shirts. I know what I want and I know what I allow in my life. And I don't think we're on the same page just due to communication, nothing else. But if you're out there, if you're going through the same thing, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious because I feel like I'm all alone out here, but yeah, that's that on that, and it is what it is. But thanks for listening. I know the story time was maybe not your cup of tea, but it's a first for me, so I thought I would share it with you guys. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know there was a lot going on. I'm excited for this year. It's a good year, babes. I feel it. I feel the energy. If you're not following me over on Snapchat and Instagram, I am at Mr. Prada on everything. Make sure to like this video. Drop a comment down below. I'll be responding for the first couple hours. And I'll see you guys soon. I love you so much. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Bye.